And to me, the worst thing about Calvinism is if they believe in, if they truly believe in that, there's no soul, there's no outreach. Right. And, 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 and the thing I hate about Calvinism the most is they seem to have an answer of everything, right? They seem to love all these debates, you know, they seem to have all these arguments, they seem to they love their acts of Jesus. Well, I'm not against that, you know. The thing is, they seem to know everything about God and made God, uh, the background, the Jesus temple, they seem to have every theological answer, but they forget, they, but they forsake about the first one. They forget about the first one. Right? They don't even care about the law. Notice the, the most the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13, verse number 2. 1 Corinthians 13, verse number 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. They have answered every theological question, but if they are not actively doing the great commission, the mission to the church, they have nothing. You know, they can argue, you know, even Baptists, they can, you know, even a lot of Baptists, they sit behind the libraries, they yeah. read the books, they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, and let me stop here before I go too far. But, you know, we as bible Christians ought to take heed, you know, we ought to have charity. It's, it's great to know the whole counsel of God. It's great to heard the Bible that being preached. You know, you have a great church. You know, every sermon is a, a state dinner. I love it. You know, I love learning new stuff. I'm learning. I love learning. Um, refreshing you know, all, all these deep doctrines, all these dark sayings. But we should do the first one. The go so many because there is a condition. They have to believe. In order for them to believe, you have to tell them about Jesus. Final minute. 